looking a little blue here, huh? Thought it paused, but then it started again. I I want to be realistic with what you can do um, and what I have done to share my experience and my progress. And this is a milestone that I didn't think I'd really get to. Um, I've been drawing for three years now. And I feel like I'm finally getting to a point where I have art that is is lifelike and presentable. I stopped drawing in high school, after high school. I did a lot of drawing in high school. I was one of those kids in AP art and AP painting, and I was very into it. My senior year, I had... Half of my schedule was just art classes, and I loved it. I loved being around other people who loved making things. I loved talking about making things. I loved getting messy and having experimentation with paint and with different drawings and compositions. And it was so fun. But as an adult, kind of got the idea beat out of me that I could be an artist. There were kids in my classes who were better than me, so why should I bother? And three years ago, I started drawing again. And that's, that was nearly, a, I've been drawing, ugh, I don't want to give one my age. I stopped drawing for so long that when I started again, I, I was like a little kid not knowing anything. I, my hands weren't used to it. I had some of the, the knowledge, the intellectual knowledge still, but my skills were nowhere near where they should have been or where they could have been if I had just continued drawing from when I was in high school. But over the course of the three years since then, since I got inspired and I picked up a, a pencil again, I have focused so much on improving and getting better and expanding my abilities and my observational skills and my knowledge. And I am so far beyond where I was when I was in high school. I understand things that I couldn't as a teenager. I understand things differently than when I was a teenager. And it has led to a lot more progress. And I've also unlearned the crushing <laughs> belief that I couldn't be an artist. And that I shouldn't be an artist. And that artist part of me never went away. It was always there in the back of my head, thinking about things, thinking about colors and shapes and designs. And I thought I was gonna go all in on being as close to art as possible because I was studying art history. And I wanted to be in museums, and I wanted to be around art, and talking about art. But I didn't think I was good enough to make any. But that's a lie. It's a lie that we're taught that we're not able to do things if we don't have an inherent talent for them. Talent is a lie. Talent's fake. You might have a predisposition to doing something, but you you get talent through doing it, through practice. So over the course of 2023, I wanted to measure that, and these two drawings are what I have as my 
beginning of 2023. And my end of 2023. I hope that you can see that practice is what will get you what you want. I hope that with this you can see that practice is the only thing that's going to get you to any goal that you want. It's the only thing that can get you to do the work and to make good work that you're proud of and to progress. You don't need talent. You're not untalented because you can't draw a straight line. No one can draw a straight line. You're not talent untalented because you can't draw a circle. That takes practice. Everything takes so much practice. The people who make it look easy have decades of practice. So, as far as I am in my journey, my three years into drawing and a couple of years into painting, I have things that I'm proud of and I want to share and I want to encourage anyone else who wants to make things that all you need to do is just start. Just start doing it. Even on YouTube, the people who are the biggest started somewhere small. Everyone starts with zero subscribers. Everyone starts at the same place. And I know saying that is a simplification because not everyone has the money or the equipment to, to produce things at the same level when they are starting but you can get there, you can get the equipment, you can get the skills. It's just a matter of practice and putting in the work and figuring out what you need. And then you can be making Mr. Beast productions. Or you could be in in the MoMA, or, or the Met, or the Guggenheim, or Broadway. Everyone needs practice. Everyone needs training to get to a professional level. So be patient with yourself. Do the work. Go practice. <laughs>